Well, that's lucky. Join me. Welcome back to the Sometimes Builds. This was an unexpected video I get to film today. So a, mic a micro cell rolled through um, where I live and it took out three trees. Check this out. So here's the first tree. As you can see, I think it was like a pear tree or something. I forget what it is. Completely snapped it off here. And this side is over here. Came within inches of the RS and about a foot from the WRX. And then another branch over there, and then way out there, another tree and another tree. So needless to say, I got a lot of firewood this year. So that's good, but, and I guess I'm glad I have a uh, dumpster coming next week to clean up brush from a previous project way, if I can focus way over there and Uncle Charlie's grapple's still here, so let's do this. Also, look at this. That's a foot. Look at that. Didn't even scratch it, but look how close it is. Right there. That's wild. It would have taken out both of these cars. Yikes. All right, you can see here, that's the first tree. Completely split, or gone. The second tree is split. Like half of it's down, I'm going to have to just remove that one entirely. And then this third tree over here lost a bunch of branches. These things died really quickly from when they fell over. And then over here is the uh, um, two cars where it came really close to the RS and the WRX. So let's get started on this, um, this cleanup. I'm over here in the uh, Kubota L series. Um, right now I'm doing this new thing one-handed, so I'm controlling the the uh, tractor one-handed and then also controlling the drone with the other hand so first things first gonna come over here and try and gather up all of these over here to get as much as I can these are lighter so I can easily just grab and move them so just gonna just gonna rearrange these a bit and then pull them away all right as this is now rearranging them because I'm trying to pull them all at once and then I whack them against the other tree and I'm like well that's not gonna work uh, I don't need to be that embarrassing, so we're going to just put them down. And now that they're separated a little bit, I'm going to take a little bit less and then grab those and move them away. See, so here it's like don't bite off more than you can chew. You can take a little bit at a time and then make multiple trips. There's no harm in taking multiple trips. And then I'm gonna put them over here just so they're out of the way and they're not in the front yard and partially on the neighbor's yard and all that. Um, I don't want it to kill the grass in the front yard either so I'm putting them all over here in the brush. Uh, I'm also getting a dumpster in the next week which will be a part of this video too. Um, gonna get a dumpster and then all this will get chopped up and put in the dumpster and then this whole area will get cleaned out so now I can come back with a second trip and kind of push them all together and then take them away There's a little hesitation here. I was trying to go backwards and I'm like, well, I guess I'll just go forwards. Maybe I'll just go back and rearrange it a little bit, try and pull them back and then um, push it together again. So here we go, pushing it all together so I can get that last branch in the grapple. There we go. See, when they all come together, and boom, can grab them. But I didn't grab it that time. Now it's all together and I can come back and grab it.
And unlike doing this in Uncle Charlie's cabin, I'm trying not to mess up the grass underneath. So I'm trying to keep it right on the surface, don't get too much. So it looks like I just, just got enough to get the whole thing and now I can take it, take it away. Even though the front wheels are catching a couple of branches and it did break off that one branch, so I gotta come back and get it. But got most of it all in that in that second pull. And looks like in this in the upper right corner of this video I can see that other branch of the tree is also starting to really bend. So I might have to whack that one off when I have the dumpster as well. Cause that does not look good. All right, tree number two. Always trying, always wanted to get the whole thing at once because that's just so satisfying. So I'm trying to grab this entire branch at the same time, but I only end up grabbing a little bit. So I figure might as well just get rid of this a little bit and then I'll come back and I'll try for the, for the big fish. All right, coming back again trying to push into it a bit so I can get to the main um, the main trunk of this brush and I got just a branch and it's starting to look like it's gonna break I think uh, if we look at the wheels right now the wheels were spinning so I was trying to figure out how to put four-wheel drive on and I put it in low so I'm not tearing up the grass so that's what I did right here so now I can move without tearing up my grass. As you can see, there's a little, little divot where I tore into the grass. So now that I have a little bit more traction, I'm going to come back and just try and drag this one from the, from the root or from the, the base of the trunk and just drag the whole thing. This thing was on the ground about three days, three, four days. Look, I'm, look how fast it killed that grass. That grass was already yellowing, so I wanted to get this branch, this whole half a tree out of here and get, at least get it next to the um, the rest of the brush pile, So, because that doesn't matter. So I'm just slowly moving this across the yard, because I don't want don't to mess up the yard, don't want to mess up the tractor, don't want to tear up the tear up the dirt or tear up the grass with the wheels so just taking this one nice and slow and then here just pushing it in um, can't really pick it up because it's just so bushy I'm gonna have to come back and cut this into smaller chunks because I need this to fit in a in a 30 yard trash can later or a 30 yard dumpster later so right now I'm just gonna push this closer to the brush pile but because I'm paranoid because this is Uncle Charlie's tractor I don't want anything anywhere close to that radiator so I only push it a little bit at a time which doesn't get it to move too much but I want nothing to get close to that radiator I want <laughs> I don't want any incidents that happen at the cabin, so I take this very easy and just kind of nudge it to get it close to the brush pile, close to under the trees, so I can deal with it later in the week and it's not killing the front yard grass. And at this point, I should mention, I do not have as, as much experience as Uncle Charlie does on this tractor. This is still very new to me for grappling and the right techniques he could have probably picked this whole thing up and lifted it up and then carried it across the yard he's a lot more experienced than i am with this so i'm just trying to take it easy and mainly not break anything or mess up the grass and just get it out of the front of the yard all right now this is the big tree this is these are really heavy branches so i'm gonna try and move this one all at once which does not work right away. So always come back and try a different angle. So I'm thinking here, if I grab the base of it, at least I can drag it away. So I'm gonna come in and try and grab just the base trunk of the tree. And there we go, hooked it. Now I'm dragging this whole thing away. You know how long this would take for me to clear this by hand? I'm so thankful that the tractor is still at my house. 
this would have been a pain to do branch by branch and carrying it across the yard or putting it into a trailer. This is just one pull and I can get all the sticks away from the front yard. I'm fine with breaking them up on the on the side. And then here we go. This is the finished view. I put the the camera away because I wanted to get that big that big tree out of there. I had to, I had to cut it up into a couple pieces to pull it away. Um, it was really heavy. So this is everything cleared out of the front. So there's no brush. There's nothing really messing up the front yard. I can do it all in the side yard now. But that look at that first tree. That first tree snapped like a twig. Apparently, it's really common with these trees. And then the second tree has half left. Third tree looks like it needs a little trimming because it's kind of it's kind of split in two. So I might trim that up a bit. And then here's here's where I put everything on the side. This is really just to get it out of the way. And look how fast all the branches died. This has only been three four days. So now everything's over here. Um, out of the way so I can come back with a chainsaw get it cut up into nice straight pieces so it'll fit in the uh, 30 yard dumpster and also look what happens when you use a tractor on a nice lawn it doesn't permanently damage it it takes a few days and the grass will come back up again it'll, it'll straighten back up stand up again but this is what it looks like when you use a tractor all right day two here I've already gotten started on a lot of this, trying to get you know the method down. So first I gotta say, using a tractor makes this extremely easy. My back was not hurting after dealing with this, having the tractor lift, this, lift these things up. I'm using the tractor to help me lift up the entire branch and then I'll cut off the large section. I wanna cut off those sections to basically save it for firewood. I, I don't wanna put it, I don't want this to go to waste. It's really good firewood. And then secondly, um, I'm using it to shorten the length of some of these branches. I need this to fit in a 30 yard um, trash can and not be you know, too bushy so it, it takes up too much space. So as you can see on this one, I'm cutting off some of the ends so when I do lift it and take it over to the little piles on the left of the screen, um, it will it'll fit better. So here's one small pile going over right now. And then getting another one situated. See, it's, it's nice and short and it'll all lay flat. And then I can pick it up once I get the technique down and get all of it. Now I can take it away. And then same thing here, I lift up the section. I'm cutting off some of the loose pieces that are, that are gonna drag and get caught under the wheels. And then cut off some of the stump ends. Now, you know, it's probably three, four inches across. So it'll be good, a little good, a little bit of good firewood. So take that away. And then come back over here, get some trash, take that out of there too. And we're going for another one. Let's see which, what we get this time. Yeah, this is a thick one. So this one I need to cut in half. So I'm gonna take the saw, as you see here, and I'm cutting off the ends to get the, the good stuff for firewood and then trim off any of the random small branches off of there. So I got that trimmed off. And now I'm trying to shape the back of it so I can pick up a solid, a solid piece and then cut that in half. So right now, just trimming up the back and taking off any large pieces I can. And then here you'll see I'm cutting all the branches basically in half. So there's gonna be two piles of shorter sticks. And then we can take the tractor and then pull back a little bit more and there we got a clean pile. And put that over in my pile on the left. Basically I'm getting this ready for Uncle Charlie when he comes over on the weekend. So it's easier to just pick stuff up and put it into the um, dumpster instead of having to deal with this on Saturday. So same, more of the same here, just cutting more up and then I back up and I say, oh look, we got more, got more attached to it. Got to trim out some more and cut the rest of them off. And then I usually put it down and then pick it back up again because there's always that one branch that's sticking out. Then it gets caught under the front wheel and then it gets all jammed up. And then we're gonna get the rest of this except to have a stump hanging on. So trim off that, trim off that, and then trim off this big stump that's there, a big part of the log that's there, get that out of there. And now I can hop back on the tractor and put this in the pile with the rest of them. All right, a few days have passed now and the dumpster has arrived. 
so I need to get the tundra over there to move a bunch of the trailers out of the way because the main point of this dumpster is to clear way for another project I want to do. So let me get this over there, Just try not to hit anything. And then first I have the smaller trailer right here. I need to back up and move it out of the way first. It has a bunch of brush in it and I'm going to try and fit in the dumpster as well. So link up with this. <laughs> Putting the old hitch down and pull away with all this. This is from the pine tree that I cut down a few weeks ago, or shoot, a month ago. And I'm gonna put this in the front yard so we can just pick it out of the uh, trailer and dump it right into the bin. So this is the dumpster provided by mygreendumpster.com. I believe they're in the Hagerstown, Maryland area. And really, really good prices, really good service. Definitely recommend giving them a call. Now I need to get the bigger trailer out of the way. This is the one that we use to, the Appalachian trailer we use to move the um, tractor around. So, oh, nope, gotta go back up. Back up the truck a little bit and do 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 And a little bit more and it's not on the correct ball of the hitch, but I'm just pulling it out of the way. I really just pulled this straight forward so it wasn't in the way of um, clearing out around this shed because that's going to be the next project. So this is now the following day. Um, Uncle Charlie came over and we're going to try and stuff as much brush into this dumpster as we can and we can't be over the line. We have to stay under the uh, the rim of the uh, dumpster. So he's basically spent the whole day on the tractor picking stuff up and putting stuff down. Um, I would climb into the um, dumpster every once in a while with the chainsaw and just hack and slash everything in there to try and get it to fall because that brush, it, it, it was so many open air airy areas, airy areas in there where there was just brush and I would have to cut the brush and it would eventually fall down inside of the uh, trash can a little bit more or the dumpster a little bit more so this is basically what what he did all day um, this was a pretty long one so um, I, this is definitely one that I've cut when it was in the bin And then you see here he's picking up another another batch, trying to get all this in one go. This was one of the batches that I had all cut up and nice and small, so should be a pick up and put down without much problem, but you know it's always a mess. So we're gonna take this around to the front. You can see the pile of wood right there that we got from these couple of trees. The stumps over there to the right as well. We're gonna have to cut that down. Uh, Charlie used the stump grinder on that stump. You'll see that in a little bit. I also had to sharpen my chainsaw blade and I uh, cut the rest of that stump off. He didn't, he didn't grind it from that height. I cut it to the ground. So he's trying to get a good, a good grip so it's all, all together, bunched together as one and not a bunch of different pieces. So now he can take that over um, and I wish I recorded some of the larger stumps from I mean, the larger stumps from that pine tree hit you see how high he has to get the tractor to get it in that was a little dicey with like 600 pound stump or you know log in the air so then he would drop it in there and then I would go and I would come behind and cut it with the chainsaw while it was in there to get it to fall down a little bit This is pretty much what we did all day. I didn't record much the whole day just because I was running back from log splitting to cutting this up and assisting him where needed. So this is basically what the whole day was. So now we're going to jump to the finished shot of the um, tree line. So all the brush is cleaned away. There's still a little bit of brush inside of there. when The trash can was just not big enough to fit everything but he rolled all this around so it'll continue to decompose. 
but it's definitely a lot better than it was before. And then same thing with the front trees. There's no more brush. I didn't end up cutting the rest of these trees down. I figure they're still in the air. They're still alive so far, and they're not in my way. I'll deal with it later. I will leave it as is. <laughs> they can stay in the air and out of the way. So that's what it looks like right now. And then, like I said, he took the stump grinder and made that stump disappear. That's what it looks like. It's completely down to dust. I'll let the grass regrow. Probably get some seed and put it down there. And again, this is a uh, mygreendumpster.com, 240-447-6974. Um, this was not paid. I paid for this dumpster entirely. There was no discounts, no nothing. They don't even know I'm recording this, but this is definitely a, uh, a uh, good company to work with. And I would definitely use them again, mygreendumpster.com out of Hagerstown, Maryland. And you can use, as you can see, it's pretty full. I'm gonna have to come back in and readjust because I got to get it below that line. Like I'll, I'll cut some of that big log up and cut some of the areas on the on the edges and move things around to get it to all fall in. Because there's a, still a lot of still look at that, look at that open space down there in that corner. I can fit all kinds of stuff in there. Um, this big dumpster I get for two weeks, but shoot, I'll have it going in 24, 48 hours from now. So this is the uh, shed project. We cleared out all of the scrap from over there. So now we can replace all the sides and the trim and the roof. Everything needs to get replaced on this shed. So that's coming soon. And hey, look at this groundhog hole. Psh, I keep burying him. He keeps coming back. And then this is a little bonus content. I went over here to look at the other groundhog hole. I have two of them. And then I see him poking his little head out. So you'll see him right in the upper left-hand corner right there poking his head up and then he sees me and he's like oh crap i gotta get out of here and he runs in his hole and he pops his head up again and down and up and down and then he pokes it up one more time to take a peek and then he sees me coming and whoop out of there so thank you for watching if you enjoy this kind of content definitely consider subscribing below see you next time peace